Bonjour. So here we have some place names we're going to go over in the state of Michigan. So we have a map over here of some of the different areas that we have in Michigan names for. So there's a map right here that I will post on the comments. So we're going to start southwestern Michigan. Chickamine Township is right on Lake Michigan, kind of north of New Buffalo. So the Chickamine comes from our word Chikamik. Chikamik means next to the big water or next to the lake. Chikamik, alongside the lake, next to the lake. Chikamik, Chikamik Township. Next one we have on here is St. Joe Benton Harbor area. So a little bit north of there as well. St. Joe Benton Harbor area we call Mozauki. Wazau Keek means yellow or brown earth. And it's talking about the sand on the beach over there. Wazau Keek. So, Chikamik, Wazau Keek. Next, we have Niles. So, the thing about Niles is you have the St. Drew River runs right through Niles. And Niles we call Pawating. Pawating. You might remember back in the day, the hospital and I was, was Powating Hospital. So Powating means place of the rapids, and that's described in the St. Drew River, Powating. The next one we have on here is Dwajak. So Dwajak actually comes from a Potawatomi word, and that word was the name of a village that was ran by Tabnabi. Now that village was in New Buffalo and then moved into Niles later on. That village was called Dowajoyak. Dowajoyak. Dowajoyak means place of harvesting, gathering, or foraging. Dowajoyak. Next one we have on here is Hartford. We actually have two words for Hartford. Uh, so the first one we have is Beyond Keek. Beyond Keek means the land that we came to. I'm talking about when two thirds of our population went from Dwajak to Rush Lake. Beyond Keek, the land that we came to. The other one is Naganish Compass. Naganish Compass. That means the Bull Rush Lake. That is why we call it Rush Lake, actually. Bull Rush Lake, Rush Lake, Naganish Compass. This is a lake, Naganish is the Great Bull Rush. Next one we have on here is Paw Paw. So there was a village in Paw Paw, or near Paw Paw, and it was ran by Papaya. 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 And that's what we call pawpaw. Papaya is a pawpaw. Pawpaw tree. One word for a pawpaw tree. Next we have is Matawan. So take 94 east towards Detroit and you're running to Matawan. Matawan comes from Madawin. Madawin is a confluence of two streams into one. Madawin. Madawin. Is there a word for Madawan? Confluence of two streams. Next we have Kalamazoo. Our word for Kalamazoo is Gazigbazan. Gazigbazan describes boiling. So in the Kalamazoo River, um, it gets real real misty and foggy. That's what that's describing the look of that. It makes it look like something's boiling. You can see him as a Kalamazoo. Next one we have is Athens. So let's talk about Battle Creek. That's where the Huron Band is located. And we call that area We call that area Nadwezibik. And that means Rattlesnake River. But so Nadwa is a term used for Iroquoian people. 
Now the Huron Potawatomi were located over in the Detroit area along the Huron River. The Wyandotte or Huron people were on one side of the river, Potawatomi on the other side of the river. That river was known as the Huron River because of the Huron people. And we call the Huron or Wyandotte people Nadwe, Nadwe Zipi. Over by the Detroit area, also you have Washtenaw County. Washtenaw County, well, the word Washtenaw is a mispronunciation of Wasatenaw. Wasatenaw means the faraway place. Wasa refers to far. The next one we have Detroit. Detroit we call Wauyatanak. Wauyatanak. So Wauyatan. The Wauyatan is a whirlpool. So Wauyatanak. It's a place of the whirlpool. It's talking about where the rivers meet over there. There's an area that used to have a little bit of a swirl in it while we had to knock. Next we have is Gun Lake. So the Gun Lake area we call Jibanashinok. Jibanashinok. So the Machibanashi Wish Band of Potawatomi. Jibanashi. Jibanashi wish me the damn bad bird. <laughs> so Jibanashi knock place of the bad bird. So, Matt Jibanashi wish is the bad bird. So Jibanashi knock place of the bad bird. Good link. Next we have number 13 is Sagatuck. This is actually where the Popo Kagan is from. Sagatuck was in Odawa and Ojibwe a village that was mixed up with Potawatom as well. Sagatuck we call Zagituk. Zagituk means place of the outlet. That is describing where the Kalamazoo River flows into Lake Michigan. Zagituk. River is outlet into the lake. Zagituk. Also Saginaw is related to this word too. Uh, Zaginak. Zaginak. The place of the outlet, another way to say it. <laughs> Number 14 here, we have Grand Rapids. So, Grand Rapids, uh, in Odawa, you say, oh, Washtenaw. But in Potawatomi, it's the same word right here, Wasatanak. Wasatanak means far away place. Now, Grand Rapids also was known as. Pawati, place of the rapids because of the Grand River. Uh, this is the most common one used for that. Manistee, so Manistee, Michigan, you got the Manistee National Forest, you have the Manistee River. We call that area Manistigua. Manistigua. Manis Tugwe. So, Manis is an island. Tugwe refers to a river. Manis Tugwe refers to a river that is full of islands on it. Let's talk about the river up there. The next one we have Petoskey. So, Petoskey, we share this word with the Odawa and Ojibwe. Bidaske. Bidaske. Bidaske refers to light approaching. Bidaske. So Petoskey is mispronunciation of Bidaske. You can also say Biadaske. Sheboygan. So our word for Sheboygan is actually Shabwagan. Shabwagan. Shabwagan refers to sound coming through something. Job walk. So you also have Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Sheboygan, Wisconsin is also called Job Walk or Job Wagonhawk. And that refers to back in the day when we had to take our ceremonies underground, there was a cave and you could hear Indians in there performing the ceremonies and the sound of the drum would come out through this cave. 
shop walk. That's what that describes in Wisconsin. I'm not sure if this is the same story for this one in Michigan. Number 18, we have Sault Ste. Marie area. Sault Ste. Marie is also called Bawa I don't know if they said the rapids again. I'm talking about the straits up there. Bawa Sault Ste. Marie. Garden Peninsula. Garden Peninsula is up here, number 19. This is the Upper Peninsula now. What we call that area? Pentagon. Wekmaga. Pentagon Wekmaga. And that literally means Garden Peninsula. Pentagon Wekmaga. So I'll move it over to the west side of the UP. You have Escanaba. Escanaba. There's a few different words for Escanaba. Uh, everybody's got a different word and a different meaning for that area. One of which is Escanaba. Escanaba. So what Escanaba means is the is a new a new site. Lucid translates as like new or fresh site. Now if we use that area as a lookout, that would that would fit in there with that word Eshkinaba, like a lookout site. Now if you move just southwest of there, you run into Bark River. Bark River we call Wigwas Zeek. Now this is where the hand of the Potawatomi reside. We was the beak. So that literally means birch bark river. That's the area that they inhabit there. Now, you go north of there, you're gonna run into Ishpaming. Ishpaming. Ishpaming is an Ojibwe word meaning the sky or up or heaven or anything that's up there. Our version of that word is Shpamuk. Shpamuk. Shpamuk up above, Shpamuk. Now, moving west over here again, number 23, we have Waters Meet. Waters Meet, Michigan, we call Kente Tiganuk. Kente Tiganuk, which means the place of the old garden or farm. Kente Tigan. Old, old farm, old garden, get to get to go on up to the place of the old garden. And then the last one that we have for this video here is the Porcupine Mountains. And we just play off the English word here for that. Gadami Ajbogok. Gadami Ajbogok. So Gadami is a porcupine. Ajbuk is a mountain, Gadami Ajbukok, Porcupine Mountains, plural.